Hi guys, today I'm doing the third Guerlain palette of the five that I picked up and today's one I'm going to be doing number 530 and that one is Majestic Rose. So for those of you that haven't seen my other videos, I've done one on Mystic Peacock and I've also done one on Royal Jungle and I'll put the links up to those up here. In the very first video, the one where I tried out Mystic Peacock, I also just went over the inspiration behind these palettes, so I'm not going to go into that in this video. But here is the beautiful packaging, and it is very reflective. It has the Guerlain logo at the front, and they're just really elegant, and I think they are really beautiful they aren't and i've mentioned this in other videos that i've done they aren't overly heavy but they still feel luxury and i think they look really beautiful as well and all of these eyeshadow quads have a shelf life of six months from date of opening but as i've mentioned before that dior has the same expiry date and they last for a very long time so I imagine that these will as well. One thing that I haven't mentioned in my other two videos and I've had a few questions about whether these eyeshadows are fragranced or perfumed like many of the other Guerlain products are and I can't detect a uh, fragrance at all and I'm glad that there isn't. I do love the Guerlain fragrance. I think it's really, really beautiful, but I do think it would be a bit too much in an eyeshadow. So here is Majestic Rose, and I think this is a really pretty color story. So we have a soft brown, we have a plum, and then down the bottom is, it's a shimmer sort of topper shade. It's a very light pink, and then there is a beautiful rose color. And I don't think it looks too bright. And I think altogether they're going to look really, really beautiful. So these are swatched from top to bottom and left to right. And there is a soft brown. It's like a satin. And this is like a burgundy. And then this one is a very light, sort of icy and paint. Swatches like it definitely is a topper shade. And then finally is this beautiful rose shade. And all of these quads, I don't think I mentioned it, are made in Italy. So I've already got my foundation on and powder under my eyes and over my face as well. I've also got a Guerlain bronzer on and I've done my eyebrows and I also have eyeshadow primer on as well but everything that I'm putting on my face today I will have linked down below in the description box. Now these shadows have been released in the UK and the USA and then taken away so in the UK and the USA they just released them they opened that window probably for about three or four days and then they shut it down again but all of these quads as well as a mascara and some lipstick cases that look absolutely gorgeous. They're going to be available from Harrods from the 15th of July. I'm not sure whether the lipstick cases are going to be included in that, but I'm hoping that they will be. I'm going to start off with the soft brown shade. This is Sonia G. This is the Crease Pro. And I'm just going to put this through my crease and I'm going to take it up fairly high as well. I'm just thrilled that there's a brown shade in this quad because often when there's pink eyeshadows and that burgundy and plum color, I do like them but can all sometimes be a little bit too much. So I'm really pleased that there's a brown in here as well. So these just go on really, really beautifully. And I have worn the Royal Jungle again. It was yesterday, a day that I didn't film. And I played around with a different brush with that matte shade. And that seems to just give a little bit more pigment. So when I get to that shade, I'll explain what brush I'm using and why. 
and I'm going to use that same shade and I'm going to run that under my lower lash line and over the top of this or the outer third I will go over with that deepest colour as well. So now I'm going to go into the deeper shade and I was playing around with the Royal Jungle palette that I did a video on the other day and I wore it yesterday. It's such a beautiful colour story. And these shades here, the deeper shades in the quads that I've tried so far, they have like a creamy texture. And yesterday I used a synthetic brush. This is a BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy brush. And this is the A502. And I thought I would try this and just see if this applied any better. The shades applied really well in the other two videos when I used them. But considering how deep they are, I didn't think they sort of gave quite enough pigment. So I thought since they're more of a creamy texture, I would use a synthetic brush. And that seemed to work. And you definitely get more payoff with this shade if you use a synthetic brush. So I'm going to put this deeper shade in the outside. Go back to the smaller brush, still staying with this deeper shade, and I'm just going to go over the other shadow on my lower lash line, but just halfway. Then I'm going to take the Sony G, this is the Builder Pro, and go into this rose shade. And I'm going to put that over the rest of my lid. Now I'm going to go into this topper shade. And I'm just going to use my finger just like I did with the Royal Jungle palette. When I used one of the shades as a topper as well. And I'm going to put it over all the eyeshadow on the lid. These shades are just beautiful as a topper. They give just that gorgeous shimmer to the shadow and lift it. And they give a really beautiful sort of ethereal look. It's really, really beautiful. And then I've just wiped down this brush and I'm going to put that top shade also in the inner corner. Now it's not really going to act like a full-on highlight but it's just going to put a little bit of sparkle in there and also under here as well and I don't know whether you'll be able to see it that well on camera but it just gives just a really just a really pretty sparkle under there to finish it off I put on some eyeliner I just tight lined on my upper lash line and just a small bit on my lower lash line and then I've also put mascara on now as well and this is the finished look of Majestic Rose well I think this is a gorgeous gorgeous quad if you like pink eyeshadows with a little bit of plum and it's got this beautiful brown to sort of ground it all then this is just an absolutely beautiful quad and I think it looks gorgeous on the eyes. Really, really lovely. This is such a gorgeous collection from Guerlain. The three quads that I've tried now are just absolutely beautiful and they blend so beautifully too. I just think that they are so, so lovely. So now I'm going to put on some blush. I've got a Westman Atelier one. And this is in the shade Petal, one of their sticks. I thought this would go quite nice with the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take a Sonia G. This is one of her fusion brushes. And this one is the, I think it's called, it's the Classic Base. And normally with these blushes, I just swipe over the stick. And I think that is a lovely colour with this eyeshadow. I think it looks really, really pretty. 
I do like these blushes. They are beautiful and are creamy, but they last really well throughout the day. I think that they're lovely. This is only the second blush that I've picked up from Western Atelier. The first one that I got, I think it's Poppy. It's quite bright, but that's really beautiful too. But I think this blush looks really, really beautiful with the eyeshadow. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use one of the Guerlain is the Kiss Kiss Bee Glow ones. I talked about this in my other videos. I only just picked these up a few days ago. And I've tried the Peach Glow and there's also the Honey Glow. And they're really beautiful. And today I'm going to try out the Rose Glow. I think this will be really lovely. This is what Rose Glow is like. And it looks very light. But when you put it on, the pigment intensifies and it's really, really beautiful. And then to finish it all off today, I'm going to use the Galan Meteorites. These are in medium, so I'm just going to give them a shake to let a bit of the dust loose. You can see all the dust coming up, and I do love the smell of these. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to take the Sonia G. This is the Face One brush, and I just swirl it in there. You can see the dust coming up, and I just think this will give a lovely finish to everything. So here is the finished look and everything together just looks really pretty. I love the colour story of this eyeshadow quad. Out of the three that I've tried so far, Royal Jungle and this one, Majestic Rose, are the two that uh, my sort of everyday type of makeup and ones that I would reach for. Mystic Peacock is really beautiful, but it's one that I would probably just wear occasionally, whereas these I would definitely reach for just for my everyday type of makeup, whether I'm at home or going out for the day or doing different things that I do at work. I think it's just absolutely perfect and I love these bee glow lip balms I just think they are so gorgeous this rose glow is really pretty and it goes perfect with the eyeshadow and I'm really happy with the blush too I think all together it looks really beautiful and I hadn't reached for the meteorites as a finishing powder for quite a long time they're on a shelf to the left of me and I have three of them and they're sort of on display and I do tend to forget about them and I absolutely adore the fragrance and I think they do give a really beautiful finish. So the whole look I think is really pretty. So those of you that have seen Mystic Peacock and the Royal Jungle and now Majestic Rose, which one is your favourite? And are you going to be picking up one or a couple or perhaps even more? So I still have two more of these beautiful quads to do on a video and I'll probably put them up later in the week. I want to do a video on the new Chanel foundation and I'm wearing it again today. So I've been wearing it for now four or five days, this foundation, and played around with it. So I think I'm ready now to do a video on it and give my thoughts on it. And I've been playing around with different primers underneath and also with different powders as well. And just seeing how it all works with my oily skin. So I hope I'll be able to film a video on that tomorrow and maybe get that video up either Wednesday night or Thursday at night. That's my time in New Zealand. So it'll be the day before for most people that watch my videos. But so far, these Guerlain quads are just outstanding. I think they are really, really beautiful. And yesterday when I wore Royal Jungle, I wore it for at least eight hours, if not 10 hours. And it looked just as good as when I first applied it. It's just really, really beautiful. And now from playing around with these eyeshadows a bit and using that synthetic brush for the shadow that's more of a cream base, 
it definitely gives off more pigment so I'm pleased that I decided to use a different brush you definitely get more depth from that matte shade so overall I just think it looks really really lovely so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye